Hey guys, today we will have a look at how we can add probability per step to almost any trigger sequencer in VCVREC and you can find this technique together with many others in my document of patching techniques and ideas that I share on my Patreon page, links in the description of course. And already I have here a sequence with the gate sequencer from count modula, it's triggering tremor and a hi-hat, just like this. The first row is triggering the kick, the third row is triggering the closed hat, and the fifth is triggering the open hat. Now this is already something you will need, a trigger sequencer that has multiple rows. And another thing you will need is something like branches, the Bernoulli gate. So let's add it, let's put it next to the sequencer. This will add our probability. Okay, now let's say that I want to have some extra hits for the kick, but only once in a while, so let's say something like this. Right. Only once in a while, so what we can do, we can program those hits we want um, to have probability on in the second row. Just like this, this is why you will need multiple rows also. Now, this one, this trigger output, we will send to branches. And now we need a way to combine the triggers from branches and from the sequencer. So we can use for this an OR logic. Let's use the one from Bog Audio, it's called Bull. Just like this. Now we will use our original sequence first to the first input of the logic module. And we will use also one of the outputs from branches to the second input. And now we will use the OR output um, to trigger whenever one or the other, so one from the sequencer or the one with the probability are high, or both, in this case it doesn't matter because they are not playing together, but whenever one of them is high, we will get a trigger out of the OR output, so we are actually combining those triggers, this will trigger the kick. Oh yeah. Yes. So already we can hear the effect of the probability. And with the controls of branches, we can set the amount of probability all the way to the right. We get no notes, no extra notes, because it will output only from output B. We are using output A. All the way to the left, we get 100% probability. So you can use this technique also to add fills, for example, by controlling the probability amount, but let's set it somewhere here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, let's do the same with the Hyatt. So let's say I want to have more hits on certain places. So let's say here and here. Something like this, but again, not always, just every once in a while. So let's use this, uh, let's use the second row or the fourth row in this case to enter those triggers. Again, this row will go first to branches. Branches has two sections, so we can use the second section here. Now we'll need another logic module to combine the main sequence, which is this one, and the probability from branches. Very nice, and this will trigger the Hyatt. Oh yeah. So we don't get those hits all the time, but we get them according to the probability. And again, you can add, you can use this um, to add fills. So if I take both now all the way to the left, Right, we get a sort of a feel or a sort of a more uh, complex rhythm. Now I also have here a nice bass line that can add to this rhythm. We have Detroit triggering percussive vibration, triggering its sequencing actually percussive vibration. This is going through Chronoblob and I have font from Nano in the feedback loop. It sounds like this. Oh yeah. Very 
nice. Now this can get also pretty crazy. So here down I have another sequencer again, a trigger sequencer with multiple rows. And what I'm doing here, okay, let's see, let's see exactly what's going on. So the first row, first of all, is triggering an ADDR sequencer, which I use to generate pitch information. But what I'm doing, I'm doing this, I want to add probability to the notes. So I want to have different notes every once in a while. So the second row is, and the third and the, another row, uh, output E, they're all each going through chances, which is also a sort of a Bernoulli gate, just with one channel. This is from count modular. So again, I have different probability settings on each for each of the rows. And this I'm combining with another OR logic. And this one again, count modular, it has four inputs, unlike the one from Bog Audio has only two. And this is triggering a sample and hold. So again, according to the probability from the sequencer, it's, it will trigger a sample and hold. And I'm mixing the sample and hold together with the ADDR sequencer. This is going to a quantizer and this is controlling the pitch of the additive vibration in this case. So I, had, uh, I have probability um, to pitch information and this is going through some delay. So let's have a listen to this. I can also solo this so we can listen exactly to the changes in pitch. So you can hear we have something, I can even turn the probability a bit even more to the right so we get less changes. So we get something repetitive, but still has some motion in it. Again, according to the probability we set. Oh yeah. Oh man. Just imagine the possibilities with something like this. Very nice. Okay, so now it's your turn to go and experiment with this idea. Again, links in the description to a document with many more, uh, many more ideas like this. And that was it. It was a short one. Like always, there will be a link in the description to this patch. Feel free to download it and take a closer look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a Patreon. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.